वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज चैप्टर टू कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ फूड लेक्चर नंबर टू ऑफ क्लास सिक्स साइंस हेयर वी विल बी कवरिंग फ्यू टॉपिक्स नंबर वन वॉट डू वेरियस न्यूट्रियंट्स डू फॉर आर बॉडी they are energy giving food body building food and protective food number 2 we'll learn about balanced diet and number 3 deficiency diseases in lecture number 1 we learned about many nutrients of food here let us learn what role do they play in our body energy giving food the foods which give us energy are called energy giving food these foods include carbohydrates and fats rich food examples rice bread wheat ghee butter milk etc you can have a look at some of the examples of energy giving food which includes both the food items which are rich in carbohydrates as well as which are rich in fats body building food the foods which help in body building by making new cells and repairing tissues are called body building food these foods include protein rich food examples fish egg milk pulses cheese etc here are few examples of energy giving food if you'll observe carefully some of these are extracted from animals whereas others from plants protective food the foods which protect the body against the diseases are called protective food they include essential vitamins and minerals examples fruits vegetables wheat milk fish etc let us let us have few examples of protective food basically the tray of salad that we eat which includes fresh fruits and vegetables are the good example of protective food here is a term balanced diet a diet which contains all nutrients in proper amount or proportion as is required by our body for normal growth and functioning is called balanced diet basically it includes energy giving food body building food protective food roughage as well as water now we have a balanced plate in this diagram it is depicted that 
if a plate contains fruits and vegetables grains cereals and potatoes dairy products meat fish nuts and eggs if you are non vegetarian fats and sugar then that plate is considered as a balanced plate because it includes all the essential nutrients that to be in correct proportion the next topic is deficiency diseases diseases that occur due to lack of nutrients over a long period of time in our diet are called deficiency diseases the term deficiency means shortage or deficit let us learn about few diseases or disorders which are caused by the deficiency of nutrients if a person lack carbohydrates in his or her diet then he may suffer from ketosis the symptoms of this disorder are headache a dry mouth and a fruity smell to the breath if the person lacks proteins then he may suffer from a disease called kwashiorkor its symptoms includes delayed growth in children a swollen stomach and frequent infections if a person lack both proteins as well as carbohydrates in his diet which is commonly known as pem it stands for protein energy malnutrition then there are high chances that he may suffer from marasmus in this disorder they that person have shunted growth secondly now let's learn about few diseases or disorders which can be caused due to the deficiency of vitamins in the diet if a diet lacks vitamin a then the person may suffer from night blindness or loss of vision the symptoms are having poor vision loss of vision and darkness sometimes complete loss of vision if the food lacks vitamin b1 then the person may suffer from a disease beri beri the symptoms of this disease are weak muscles and very little energy to work shortage of vitamin c in diet may leads to scurvy in scurvy the symptoms are bleeding gums wounds take longer time to heal lacking of vitamin d in diet may cause rickets in rickets bones become soft and bent lack of vitamin k in food may result in delay in clotting of blood and the symptoms include excessive 
bleeding. In the same sequence, let us now learn about few diseases or disorders which may be caused by the deficiency of minerals. Calcium, iodine and iron are some of the minerals which are required by our body. Shortage of calcium in our diet may lead to bone and tooth decay. The symptom of this disorder includes weak bones and tooth decay. Deficiency of iodine in diet may lead to a disease called goiter. In it, glands in the neck appear swollen and mental disability in children can also be expected. Deficiency of iron in the diet may cause anemia. The common symptom of anemia is having weakness. Based upon the topics which we just discussed, let us have few questions for you. Multiple choice questions. Question number one. Which one of the following food item does not provide dietary fiber? Option A. Whole grains. Option B. Whole pulses. Option C. Fruits and vegetables. Option D. Milk. Question number 2. Which of the following nutrients is not present in milk? Option A. Proteins. Option B. Vitamin C. Option C. Calcium. Option D. Vitamin D. Question number 3. Deficiency diseases can be prevented by taking a dash. Question number 4. Egg yolk is rich in dash and egg albumin is rich in dash. Question number 5. Write two examples of food items which are A. Energy giving B. Bodybuilding and C. Protective Question number 6 